In this lesson, we'll tell you how to reach out to your clients and what the tendencies of modern marketing are. Let's start with face-to-face -face contact. You should be prepared to talk about your business among your friends, family and potential clients. There are two forms of speeches that we recommend every company owner to practice before they go and tell the world what they do. The first is the elevator pitch. This is a two to three minute self-presentation. Your main goal should be making people interested in your idea. Include some emotion. Be prepared to tell them very briefly why that person needs you. The other is the high concept pitch. This is one or two short sentences. It should give a taste of who you are, what you do and how you do it. It should be precise, but also intriguing. Of course, today you don't need to talk to your clients in person you can send them a message using email. This allows you to send lots of text and graphics, but beware, sometimes emails can go into the spam folder. You can use text messages. This way, people will generally not miss or lose your message. And it's a great way if you're making short-term sales and other actions. The disadvantages of sending a text are obvious. Sometimes you can't get permission from the owner of the number and sending messages without permission might get you into trouble. And finally, push notification. If you have a popular website or blog, you can ask your readers for, for permission to use push notifications. These are small pop-up signs in the corner of your browser. The technique is relatively new and that's why it's been quite effective so far. Social media is the leader when it comes to modern marketing strategies. Here, the mindset needs to be different. Of course, you can write posts, buy advertisements, write about your product or sales, or set up a blog post to support the sale. But the most important thing is you should listen. Enroll onto different groups and as an expert in something and help people solve their problems. If you have your own business page, thank people for every opinion, analyse it and do your best to improve. We live in the times of a thank you economy. At the beginning, create your marketing strategy and think what you want to improve. You might focus on three goals. You want more clients, you would like more purchases from each client or you'd like bigger purchases. There are different strategies to achieve each. If you want to achieve more new clients, you can introduce a system of recommendations from your old clients, reaching new groups and investments in advertisements. If you would like more purchases from each client, give them discounts for the next purchase. Use loyalty programs. Make sure you have a top quality customer service to make people emotionally attached to your brand. And if your aim is to have bigger purchases, the more you buy, the more discount you get for extra items, like 50% off on drinks when you order a big pizza, or discount on leather care products if you buy shoes. At the end of our lesson, we'll describe the most popular and effective qualities of successful modern marketing strategies. Listen and learn. First of all, personal contact with the customer is getting valuable again. Social media and modern IT algorithms had a great impact on this. You can personalise your content, send different newsletters to different target groups, adapt the content of your website to the preferences of your viewer and many others. Secondly, automation. Even if your customers have the feeling of personalisation in your content, it doesn't even mean that you'll do everything yourself. There are more and more online tools that will do it for you. Thanks to such applications, you can automate 
for example, storing passwords, using keyboard shortcuts and common email templates, using software for invoices, putting answers into common questions on your website, etc. Thirdly, the power of influences. A few years ago, you would have to go to TV, the press or radio to reach a big audience. Nowadays, there are single people, like bloggers or other online creators, whose influence is much bigger than the press and the TV combined, because they're authentic to their audience. Bear that in mind for your long-term strategy. Fourthly, live transmissions have been number one from the list of the most trending. Another strategy is being transparent and open about your successes and failures. It's a good way to get people interested in you, to trust you and treat you like a regular person, like themselves. Next, remember to create valuable, specific content. Content is king. The era of meaningless flow of spam information is over. You want people to visit your website. Give them something interesting, like a very specific piece of advice on the subject you're expert in. And last but not least, keep your clients engaged. It's more useful in the IT sector, but you should know about this trend. Try to engage your clients to work with you. The simplest way is using hashtags or developing a good recommendation system. You need to remember that marketing is another field that people spend their lifetimes learning about. It's tempting to do it on your own, but trends are changing and it's strongly recommended that you hire an agency to handle these activities. On the other hand, let's be honest, most of us don't have enough time or money at the beginning of their careers to hire specialists for everything, so we need to know the basic rules of marketing, PR and creating our brand. That's why we must learn all the time. We hope this has given you some good ideas about managing your life and good luck with your goals.